Three men charged at Don Chin with angry faces, that arrogant bastard, they thought, we'll teach him a lesson. The academy will not tolerate this kind of deception. As the three men charged, Don Chin also began to act. A golden light appeared in his hand. Don Chin used his extremely high speed to dart past them. In a moment, he had slipped past them in a way that was devilish and beyond human understanding. Only then did the three men realize what was happening. They were terrified, with eyes wide in disbelief. The leader was confused. When had he run behind them? Don Chin turned to look at them with a cold gaze. He said, this body technique is called whirlwind technique. It's a movement technique I learned after escaping the assassination attempt by Kin Ka. While avoiding the enemy's attacks, I can also counterattack. Then Don Chin folded his arms and looked at the three useless men. He said, you have become victims of a new spell that I have modified. The leader still couldn't believe it and began to stammer, it can't be true. Suddenly, all three men stopped in their tracks. At this time, a golden light appeared on their bodies, making them unable to move. The three men were terrified, this person is too strong. They said, when did he use this technique? The angry man said, it can't be, absolutely not. The leader, holding his sword in his hand, trembled as he rushed towards Don Chin. This is definitely demon magic, he thought. Don Chin said coldly, when you are hit by binding technique, it is best to stand still. If you try to break free from the control, it will cause your blood vessels to rupture. While rushing forward, the man felt a tremor in his body. His entire body was covered in golden lines, and the blood vessels in his body were severed. The man screamed in pain and then fell to the ground dead in front of everyone. His two accomplices were shocked and said, he's dead, is this really the magic of a cultivator? The students in the back cheered, Senior Dong Chin is so powerful, his strength is truly terrifying, Senior Dong Chin, I want to follow you to cultivate. Thien Tie looked at the group of troublemakers and said, it's only to be blamed that the teachers of the academy have no eyes to see the talented, Ku An sighed happily, Master is truly too powerful. At this time, the principal also appeared, she was angry and said, you useless, blind fools, dare to cause trouble with senior Don Chin. The two troublemakers were scared and said, principal, it's our fault that we have no eyes, we angered him, we beg senior Don Chin to forgive us once. Don Chin looked at the two men and said, I am only demonstrating the wonders of the Taoism, I do not want to be petty with you juniors, as he spoke, Don Chin also released the spell on the two men. After being released, the two men immediately knelt down in front of Don Chin and thanked him for his forgiveness. You are a saint, they said, the man who was killed was also taken away. At this time, Don Chin took out a book and said, today, I see that everyone is very interested in cultivation, I will give you all a book on elementary Taoism. Don Chin threw the book to Mo Dung Nguyet and said, this book records the most basic methods of cultivation, you can learn it yourself to awaken your spiritual veins, if you have talent, I will consider passing on to you higher cultivation methods. The surrounding students were overjoyed and cheered, thank you, senior Don Chin, we will definitely study hard and will not disappoint you. At this time, Ku An showed a look of satisfaction and said, okay, master, you don't need to waste time with these ordinary people anymore, let's go to the secret realm to cultivate, I am willing to be your seat. Don Chin angrily slapped Ku An butt and said, if you want to carry me, hurry up and transform into the shape of a dragon, Ku An, who was in pain, quickly said, okay, I'll do it right away. Don Chin and Thien Tie flew away on the dragon, the students below waved goodbye continuously, Mo Dung Nguyet, holding the book, left, she was very happy and said, let me take a look first, what secrets are hidden in this book. When she opened it, her eyes lit up, the book was written in the script of the Tan Dynasty, no wonder the Tan Emperor's handwriting was so beautiful, this time, I must study it carefully. Twenty miles away from the academy, in a forest, the sound of fighting could be heard, Thien Tie was quickly destroying the monsters in this place. With just one move, she created sharp ice pillars, destroying a group of monsters. Looking at the monsters that were easily destroyed, Thien Tie thought to herself, Senior Dong Chin is right, cultivators must use magic to fight. At this time, Dong Chin was both absorbing spiritual energy and praising, you did very well, after awakening your holy body, your strength is not bad either, I am very satisfied with these spiritual energies, Ku An was nearby, taking advantage of the time to roast a chicken. Thien Tie blushed with embarrassment when she was praised by Dong Chin. At this moment, a voice came from afar, no wonder the forest was so noisy, it turns out that the people from the Thung Lam Academy are here causing trouble, a group of people appeared at this time, surprising Dong Chin's group. 
The leader of the group said, I advise you to leave immediately, otherwise, this great master Lu Bo will not be polite. The man was a student from the War Academy. Thien Tie was confused and said, How could Lu Bo appear here? My worldview has collapsed. Don Chin, who was standing next to her, asked who Lu Bo was. Thien Tie regained her composure and then drew her sword, stepping in front of Don Chin, Whether you are the real Lu Bo or a fake Lu Bo, I must be careful to deal with you. From their appearance, they are people from the War Academy, the enemies of the Thung Lam Academy. Lu Bo quickly ran towards Don Chin, jumping up high and swinging his spear down. How dare you look down on me? I will tear you to pieces, Don Chin said coldly, another fool. Lu Bo quickly rushed up and struck Thien Tie hard, but she was able to block it with her sword. Thien Tie's strength was not enough, and she was knocked back by Lu Bo. Lu Bo was very arrogant after knocking Thien Tie back, and he shouted, I still remember when I challenged Guan Yu and Trong Fai. These guys are extremely strong people. What are you? No one. Thien Tie was knocked back, and she thought to herself, this guy seems to be an S-rank warrior, he's so talented, could he be the real Lu Bo? Kuan saw that Thien Tie was useless and he mocked her, white hair, big breasts, can you do it? Let me go teach this kid a lesson. Thien Tie was angry when she was looked down upon, and she shouted, shut up. Don Chin folded his arms and looked at Lu Bo with a cold expression, if you want to become an immortal cultivator, you must forget about the level gap between warriors and make good use of spiritual energy techniques to defend against your enemies, especially when facing enemies with heavy weapons, pay attention to using spiritual energy to increase your speed and avoid direct confrontation. As soon as Thien Tie heard this, she understood, she rushed towards Lu Bo with extreme speed, Lu Bo laughed smugly when he saw Thien Tie rushing towards him. Lu Bo's attacks were unable to keep up with Thien Tie's speed, Thien Tie dodged the attacks and thought to herself, this guy is getting flustered, this is my chance. Lu Bo was angry when he couldn't hit Thien Tie, and he shouted, useless trash, can you only dodge? At this time, Don Chin shouted from afar, take this opportunity to attack him. Thien Tie immediately followed his orders, she jumped up and used a freezing spell to freeze Lu Bo's arm. Just when it seemed like everything was settled, Lu Bo broke free, he raised his spear and charged at Don Chin, shouting, it's because of that black robed man that this happened. Thien Tie and Ku An saw Lu Bi Yu attacking Don Chin and sighed and said, attacking him is like seeking death, he's young and doesn't know his place. When Lu Bo's spear reached Don Chin, it was stopped by Don Chin's two fingers. Lu Bo was surprised and thought to himself, he can stop my attack with just two fingers, his spiritual energy is so strong that it's making it difficult for me to move. Don Chin said with a cold expression, your talent is not bad, but you're just a brainless fool, because you're a talented junior, I'll spare your life. With that, Don Chin punched Lu Bo, sending him flying. Lu Bo crashed into the rock wall, creating a large hole, he stared at Don Chin, wondering, who is this man, he's not acting like a warrior at all. The two men who were following Lu Bo ran up to him, terrified, boss, I remember now, he's Don Chin, the one they mentioned on TV, we've offended a great master. When Lu Bo heard this, he couldn't believe it, he opened his mouth wide in shock. Then, he angrily kicked the two of his subordinates away, you two idiots, why didn't you tell me sooner? At this moment, Lu Bo knelt down before Don Chin and said, your majesty, I am Lu Bo, a general of the Han dynasty, my soul has been reincarnated in the body of a descendant, today, I have offended your majesty, please punish me as you see fit. Don Chin was also somewhat surprised when he heard this. He asked, what is the great Han dynasty, who are you? In his heart, Don Chin thought, I have never met a general of the Tan dynasty, but I have met a general with an unclear background. Lu Bo hesitated and explained, this is a rather special case, it is a later dynasty that overthrew the Tan dynasty, I am just a small figure, and I cannot compare myself to you. Don Chin listened and said calmly, it has been over 2000 years, and it is normal for dynasties to change. If you are a reincarnated general of our Hoaha, you should have greater ambitions, you should not fight internally like this. Lu Bo stood up and said, your majesty is right, there is a saying that, three people who travel together will have one who is a teacher, today, we have met by chance, I beg your majesty to accept me as your adopted son, I will be grateful and will definitely work hard for you. Don Chin turned around and said, my heart always belongs to the world, I treat all living beings equally how can I accept you as my adopted son for my own benefit? But in the future, we still have a chance, in the future, 
I will unite all the major universities and organize them into a single immortal cultivation faction. At that time, everyone will be my disciples, and there will be no personal relationships, all beings will be equal. Hearing this, Lubo knelt on the ground and cried, I was thinking too narrowly, your goal is so great. Kuan also said admiringly, this is the true master of me, when our power expands, we will conquer the entire world, Thien Tie looked on with admiration, senior Dong Chin is really great. Lubo continued, in my previous life, I wandered everywhere, without any accomplishments, I was just a reckless man. Then Lubo immediately knelt down in front of Dong Chin, now that I have met you, please let me follow you and serve you. Seeing his sincerity, Dong Chin said, since you are determined to serve me, practice hard and let me see your glory. Lu Bo was moved when he heard this, and thanked the emperor. Thien Tie stood by and was convinced that, I believe that under the leadership of senior Dong Chin, the immortal cultivation culture will spread throughout the world, the Chinese lineage will surely become stronger and achieve unprecedented glory. Welcome everyone to my channel. Here you will see a lot of interesting video retellings. I like to make videos for you and I am very happy that you like them. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel also click on the bell to not miss anything.